Hello, welcome to episode 42 of the mid -ray region. It's taken us a little while to get here, but we're on the last city of the second of our third, uh, second of our three regions. It's our mainly residential city, we've called it Hewitt, as named by the chat room. I believe Play named that one. So what we're doing today, mostly, is growing the city and trying to keep up with all of its demands. So far this intersection is actually pretty good. It'll get busy for a little while and then it'll move. You know, like... Yeah, traffic, it, it, traffic will build up for a second there, but then it flows away, so... It's actually doing pretty well. A lot of people walking, which is very good. We should be doing pretty good on our services. So it's not treating very many injured. And we have some criminals because not everybody's quite educated in the city. But we're also upgrading our um, densities, so we'll also change our education level as well, because new people will be low, you know, new sims start off with no education. We've also got a little bit of room in these loops to put something, and I'm not sure what. But we'll decide here. So yeah, it's mostly a waiting game. Close the airship hangar because nobody was taking it, and we're losing a lot of money right now. There we go. Hopefully, you don't get any echo from anything. Time to upgrade our city hall, though. Put this on. And I believe our taxes are still yeah at zero percent, so. We're losing a lot of money, but kind of on purpose, mostly to get these people to grow in. You can see it makes them real happy really fast. <laughs> Let's see how the traffic on this sunken road is going. It's kind of hard to get down there. <laughs> there we go. You can go out a little bit. But it seems okay. It's just it's really hard to tell down there. This is the intersection I was slightly worried about, but it seems okay. Because this is the one where the two two sides come in. Now we're starting to get a little bit of traffic with all these people. We're doing really good on our trains. Got a couple thousand coming a day. Let's see, six thousand riding the bus. Yeah, 
two thousand random training. Most of these, yeah, most of these are low wealth residents. So good. We've still got jobs, so we're going to need to um, switch some of this commercial and industrial. Yeah, so it's mostly people commuting in for commercial. We'll need to switch some stuff around here. No, I think I wanted the wa the high wealth over here. But that's why I want them to increase density so I can see what I actually have a little bit better. As far as space goes. These medium densities are good, but I need the high densities to know what their actual sizes will be. How are we doing on this? Coming along on a... I guess since we have the money, we honestly could plop these. And get rid of them as we don't need them. Oh, not quite enough room. That'll put us over our mark. For students. At least it should. How's everything else going along? <clears throat> it's time to beef up the power a little. Let's see, let's basically double what we have. One, two, and three. It's also time to build our mayor's mansion, which I think we're going to put right back here. Probably right there. So far, 90% approval and rising. Wow. Everybody loves me in this city. Still on the peg on water. Same with sewer. Everything's good on trash. And fire. I guess you never really pick up all your injured, but it's doing good. We could teach more people, but I have a feeling that has to do with all the people moving in at the moment. Oh, there's our upgrade for our school. We'll put the school of law down because one, it fits down here really nice, and two, it'll help our um, crime in the city. Upgrading our mayor's mansion quite a bit at the beginning here. Lots of people down at the <laughs> down at the uh, international airport. Yeah, we don't have a ton of building to do this episode right now. This is one of those wish I could time lapse real life things. <laughs> I 
this intersection seems to work really well, though. At least so far. It's taking a while for our residential to increase here. So we have like no wealth so far. Of course we're going to increase it as we go. And the high wealth will be up front here. This seems to be getting a little clogged. I was a little bit worried about that, but I wasn't sure what would happen, really. <clears throat> and they seem to be traveling down these roads really well as well. So, so far, so good. As far as traffic goes. There's some more upgrading of commercial. Density increasing, whatever you want to call it. More Mayor's Mansion. Hey. Increasing our tech early on. Actually, I'm pretty good. We've got two stars of tech level, two gears or whatever. No abandoned buildings. This looks. Oh, hey, high density. Alright. What's taking these guys so long? Not enough room. I'm talking about not enough room. You got plenty of room. That's weird. I've never had them not want to grow when they should be able to grow. Like, we totally have room. And these guys did. Hmm. Maybe we'll just take a minute. I can see these guys say not enough room as well. And there's no... They definitely have enough room. I really don't know what's going on there. Other places in the city are able to increase their density.
try to fix the ends of some of these. I really wish I knew why these were acting this way. That one went back at And these guys just haven't increased yet. Well, now you don't say that there's no room. <laughs> okay. I really don't get it. Like large swaths of land. It should be, you know, increasing density just aren't. Yeah, see all the bright green? <coughs> That should all be increasing in density. But it's not. Maybe it's just taking its sweet time. Pretty city hall. Yeah, yeah, classroom is full. We will work on that. <clears throat> yeah, well, we're getting a lot of class, a lot of students in class. It's good. 89% approval, still very good. See, these guys are all still saying not enough room. That's just the weirdest thing ever. Especially these ones. What do you mean, not enough room? There's plenty of room. Let's try it over here. D zone and re zone. We'll see, I guess. That's still super, super annoying.
happened up here too. And let's see, like these I could understand because I don't think there's actually enough room in there. Ooh, I had a thousand worshippers. Wow. Hey, Tommy. Nope, I've been going for about 20 minutes here. And these guys are still working their way up. As these guys should be. One crime committed today. Uh, no, Tommy, not right now. I don't really do Skype calls when I'm doing my solo region. I really want to figure out why. Why, why, why? You say the low taxes are fantastic, but why are you not? Fire service is slow. Why is the fire service slow? Do we need a third helicopter? No, we could also put these down. I forgot after I moved them to move the fire station and put those back down. No, seriously, if this distance is fine, then why isn't this distance or this distance? Or since I measured them all out the same. Still very smooth traffic going in and out of the city, but inside of the city I may have to do some maglevs here, which might end up looking cool, but if I bridge them across here, it might end up actually making them look pretty terrible. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Hey, there those go. Finally increased in density. So let's try that trick for these guys. D zone, bulldoze. What's your problem? Building five. Building five. Yeah, you all burned your houses down. You need to stop doing that. There we go. Classroom's full. Okay. Seriously, keep those end pieces, they're not supposed to grow like that. Okay. 
get some high density industrial growing in. Yeah, we'll do parks in a little bit, Tommy. I need to get everything up to high density so I can figure out where everything needs to go for parks. And we're starting to get there. And then as we add the parks, we'll, we'll start removing some of the commercial from the city because we'll keep everybody happy with parks. And if I can make it work right, we'll have just about everybody, well, not everybody, but we'll have a lot of people commuting out of the city because I'll be able to remove the industrial because we won't need it. <clears throat> Let's see which other ones are doing this. You guys are... Oh, maybe not. You just increased. Let me give it a minute. I'm going to take care of our sewage. I'm going to turn this one on for future expansion. While we're over here, we need water as well. Let's see, that one's on. Turn that one on. That one up. Maybe one. Again, for future expansion. Same with power. We'll turn the rest of this line on. And then we'll start turning on the other side. Oops. There we go. And let all those get fired up. We may have to turn a few more on once I see where we're at for power here. Yeah, it looks like it. We want to try to at least take care of most of our power. Looks like we need a bit more. And see, this way we're not spending money when we turn these all on. There we go. Wow, and we're still buying from the region. see where that puts us. I 
This one doesn't seem to be firing up. That's because it's off. Alright. Should at least get us in the green for now. Um, pretty close, anyway. Of course, we still have buildings increasing in density. I wonder if these fit back here. Oops, yeah, these. No, they don't. They won't even fit in. Well, they'll fit back here. In fact, let's put one of those back there. Let's try getting some control net. What's going on here? These guys should. It, and I, I seriously never run into this problem before. I don't know why it's happening here, and, and I've never seen it in other in any other city. You know. should have enough room to grow into high density, especially if the rest of the buildings that are along this strip do. Of course, I know one won't grow there, but we'll put something there just because. So there that one started growing. Now we're really actually getting some traffic on this intersection. Seems like most everybody's going to take a right rather than go straight. I was hoping it'd be more half and half than that. Tommy, there's not a problem with land value for those buildings because they say not enough room to in increase density, which means that they would if the increase density if they had enough room, which is also a lie because they totally have enough room. See, they, now, now these buildings are popping in. It's just a matter of I have to dezone and rezone them. For some reason, it's being weird. Okay. 
There we go. These are increasing finely. These are being weird. and then these start increasing density. So, Ooh, lots of traffic. And since most of those are goods, Let's change one of these into residence. There we go. So this part's totally weird that they would increase over here but not pass that road. I wonder if that has something to do with the roads, like if they're being, I don't know, read by the game funny, or I'm really not sure. I say those ones I actually think yeah you can't fit a high density building there I wonder if it has to do with the game crashing yesterday because the game did crash for me yesterday when I was getting ready to load things up So I wonder if it messed with the region a little bit. Yes, Tommy, I heard about the Malaysian Airlines thing. There we go. Hmm. So most of these fix themselves. Oh, and these are still going. Maybe it just needs a little more. play. 
Uh, Sin City, this uh, machine is Windows, although the machine that I'm watching chat on is Mac, so... I'm rather operating system agnostic. I don't particularly care. Oh, where's all my money going to? Uh, I, don't, I don't have any taxes <laughs> right now. Play. Yeah, see, my taxes are at 0%. I'm trying to get everybody into high density. But they're being weird. Do I want to leave room or no? Such a nice mayor. <laughs> well, they seem to like me. 83%. I was at 90 for a little while there, but then I started increasing density, so, you know, population fluctuates. Back to buying power from the region, although the difference this time is that we are running at full speed on our power. We will definitely need to turn on our last couple water pumps here. And more sewage. And it'll be time to start turning this one on. Actually, we should turn one of those back on. <laughs> Fifteen percent, no, uh, Sin City. <laughs> Actually, uh, the number is uh, 12, 11, 10 for, for maximum taxes, for at least for what they'll stand. But um, I want these last few to start. <laughs> of course the low tax rate is fantastic. Now move in and increase your density. <laughs> I see, this is exactly why I wanted to see things grow in first, because I wanted to make sure things were going to grow into these exact densities. And then the ones that won't, that's where I'll start filling in um, parks and such. And either these people start increasing density, or we'll hit 5 million and then I'll start increasing taxes. She's doing surprisingly well on trash. Hmm. Got another set of garbage trucks here. Wow, this line to get out of town is ridiculous. I don't know why they built these ramps this way, but, you know, with everybody trying to take a right, it backs up all the way into my city. Um, yeah, Cyclone Kermit, um... Mostly zoning over them is bad. Uh, low wealth tend to care much less, obviously, than the other wealth classes. But, um, yeah, the, the if you don't have Cities of Tomorrow, the only way to get rid of ground pollution is trees. And all you do is go into here, 
and go to your nature menu and plant forest. And as you plant trees, they'll grow and they'll suck up your ground pollution. It takes a long time. The only other way to do it is to um, use the ground scrubber if you have, uh, oops, it's in here. If you have cities of tomorrow, and ground scrubber. That sucks it up real fast. So. Uh, Sin City, I know that parks will increase uh, land value, but I'm not put or increase, uh, you know, yeah, increase land value, but I'm not putting them down until I get everything to grow in, like I was saying just a few minutes ago. Sorry, I had to talk to my wife for a second there. Uh, Cyclone Kermit, if it's um, radiation, trees will not clean it up. But yeah, it, it'll take a long time for it to go. It takes quite a bit. These guys don't want to increase their density. Oh, yeah, is that S-C-A-S-N? Sorry, it's hard to read your, your name on the... It's bright green, so <laughs> a little hard to read your name. But um, I believe I believe you mean the one... the if They're not water towers. They uh, the ground scrubbers. They're right here. These things. Because there's no water towers that, that get rid of pollution. Oh, unless you mean this one, the this one, the water, the sewage sanitizer that turns sewage into water. Maybe that's what you mean. These guys, not enough room, so I still got to do these guys. Now everybody's finally growing up in the city. Weirdest thing ever. There we go. How do you get rid of bad traffic? Well, Sin City, that is all dependent upon what kind of city you have. <laughs> to be honest, it's it really just depends on how your city is built and how many people you have. And like there's there's a million factors that can go into it. Ooh, we got all our goods sold. We still have available jobs, but nobody's commuting out. And I know we have jobs in the other cities, so I'm not sure why. Now that everybody's increasing density, finally, we'll put our taxes back.
There we go. And now we're making 21 grand an hour. Oh, look at that. Oh, really? The water pump, um, the water pumping station, like this one, gets rid of pollution? Interesting. Well, I guess I've never tried that before. I've always tried to avoid putting my water pump over pollution, you know? We definitely need more buses, too. Yeah, exactly, Sin City. We're making bank now. See, I really wish I could fit this here, but there's just no way. I suppose I could do it out all the way out here. Might as well. Lot of people. <laughs> Excuse me, of course you use the treatment add on to it. All right. Looks like we're getting a good amount of people in the city now few more to wealth up here, or to increase density here before we start wealthing up. And upgrade this. And what do we want to put down? So probably either... The School of Science doesn't do it. Oh, it, oh, it increases high-tech industrial profit. Oh, okay. And engineering does medium wealth industrial profit. Interesting. Oh, yeah, Cyclone, that's kind of what, uh, what Scan was saying. Or Skazen, I don't know, man. <laughs> No abandoned buildings. Alloy reclamation line is full. Hmm, look full to me. Oh, I'm sorry, play. I'm just looked at tech. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I have quite a few projects right now, but we'll um, we'll definitely think about doing something like that. Kind of want to get this last little bit of population to get the you know six hundred thousand residents, but I don't know that I can squeeze them in there. Although we do have a lot commuting in for goods, I could probably switch another another one of these out for residential. Like this one. There we go. 
All right, yeah, there's far too much traffic in this city. We're going to have to do maglevs here. And I think I want to put the maglevs down before I increase wealth because the maglev um, stations lower land value. Not by a lot, but they're a little bit of a, of a downer on land value. But the ally recognition line is not full, and I happen to know it. So, oh, th there's one of them that's full, yeah. Maybe I should upgrade this. Because, yeah, it's not able to get everything out in time. So, I need to actually switch it out for... Alright, that's what we'll do with this area. I need to switch it out for one of these, um... One of these. And we're just going to end up losing some money here because I can't get rid of this stuff fast enough. squeeze it in like over here. Alright, fine. Let me put this thing down and I'll figure it out. Alright. So we put that down. And then it's gonna have metal, an alloy, and a plastic box. Are you serious? Oh. If that's all it's overlapping, I'll get rid of one of those. We can turn our other dump zones on too, I guess. We'll use them when we need them. And then we'll start putting trucks down. Get some of these, and then we can. Oops. Can I make this work? No. I figured it might not be enough room. I could try to... Hmm. Hmm. I could do... No, that wouldn't work there either. I don't think I can fit it in. <laughs> That's okay. With the VTOLs, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll take everything away pretty quickly. But it looks like we just ticked over our hour mark on the city. It has grown quite a bit. We'll start um, laying in our maglev next time, and we'll also start uh, those trucks. Just move goods inside your city, right? Uh, no cy cyclone permit. The trucks actually will export goods as well. So, just in smaller amounts than the VTOL or the train or the boat. But, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this stream. If you like to catch me live, you can uh, watch me on Twitch. Just follow me there. You'll be notified when I go live. And if you want to watch what I do after the fact, I put everything up on YouTube. So, just subscribe to my channel there and you'll see everything as I post it. So, uh, until next time, you guys have fun.